There are so many benefits to opening up the muscles in the hips. We can release trapped emotions. Energy can flow more freely. We can reduce pain and tension in the body. We can feel more energized throughout the day. It's so important. So let's take 10 minutes to strengthen and lengthen our hips. Let's get started. Let's begin in a wide kneed child's pose. Open your knees up wide, bring your big toes together in the back, sit down and then reach forward, resting your head on the mat. Feel your low back start to open up here. Let's take one more big breath. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Take a moment here, pedal it out. Bending into one knee and then the other. Not caring if your heels are on the mat. That'll happen naturally, we don't have to force that. Keep a bend in your knees, lift your tailbone up. Push into your hands, moving your chest closer to your thighs. Look forward, step to the outside of your hands, heels in, toes out. Sink your hips low, hands come to heart center for Malasana Yogi Squat. <sighs> Take a couple of deep breaths here. Just really feeling your hips open, feeling your low back start to decompress. And plant your hands, step it back to your downward facing dog and do that one more time on your own. Take a big breath in downward facing dog. And then bend your knees for child's pose. Three big breaths. And tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. On an inhale breath, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step between your hands. Put your back knee on the mat and inhale, lift your arms overhead, crescent B. Once you're there, square your hips off to the front of the mat. Pull your right hip back, press your left hip forward. Feel your back body working hard. Feeling strong. And on an exhale breath, side angle. You can either plant your hands, reach up, keep your back knee on the mat. You can lift up, elbow to thigh. Or you can plant your hand, lift your back knee, and reach the left hand up. Whatever feels good in your body, do that. Wherever you are, roll it open a little bit. On an inhale breath, reverse triangle, straighten both legs, right hand reaches up, pull your thighs together without really moving your feet, activating your lower body and reaching up a little higher. On an exhale breath, shift your hips to the left while you reach out, 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 and then down, left hand high. Once you get there, Press your pelvis forward, lean back. On an inhale breath, reverse warrior, bend your front knee, right hand reaches up and over. On an exhale, Plant your hand, step your right foot back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale for upward face. And exhale, downward facing dog. Or any variation of that that feels good to you. Inhale, 
Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, just step, right knee comes down. Inhale up, crescent B. Squaring your hips off to the front of the mat. On an exhale breath, side angle, whichever side angle feels good to you. Planting with your knee down, elbow to thigh, or lift it up and reach up. Remember to roll your shoulder open as much as you can. On an inhale breath, reverse triangle, straighten your left leg. Left hand reaches up, pull your thighs together, activate your lower body, reach up a little bit higher. And on an exhale, shift your hips to the right. Left hand reaches out, 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 and then down. Right hand high. Press your pelvis forward, lean back. And on an inhale breath, reverse warrior. Bend your left knee, left hand reaches up and over. And on an exhale, plant your hands, move through your vinyasa. Whichever variation feels good to you. Now bring your knees down to the mat. Let's take a little child's pose. And tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Let's move through that with our breath. Here we go. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, the step. Inhale up, crescent B. Exhale for side angle, whichever variation you enjoy. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Find your flow, make it your own. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, the step. Inhale, up, crescent B. Exhale, your side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Find your flow. One more time, here we go. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, step. Inhale, crescent B. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Find your flow. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, the step. Inhale, crescent feet. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Find your flow. Now just lower your knees down to the mat. Child pose. And tuck your toes. Lift your hips one more time. Downward face. Look forward. Walk your feet to your hands and sit down on your bottom. Legs come straight out in front of you. Move the meat. Flex the feet. Inhale your arms up. And exhale, fold. Try to keep a flat back. Reaching with your chest. Once you get as far as you can go, round and release. 
drop the crown of the head down and just let your breath move your body. Every inhale, you'll come up a little tiny bit and every exhale, you'll sink a little deeper. One more big breath. Now come into easy seat, crisscross applesauce, finishing class with three cleansing breaths. Every inhale, press your belly out. Every exhale, pull your belly in. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Remember, just take that anytime your body needs a boost, a little self-love. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.